of you are happy to be in church this morning. Yes. Um, I had someone say to me, I won't say who, I will give you your privacy. Someone said yesterday to me, I need to be in church tomorrow. And I said, so do I. I tell you, we all need to be in God's house. And I know there's times and occasions that take us away. But this assembling together is more important sometimes than we recognize. Um, I need this. I need corporate worship. And I need to be with people. Is Gloria? Oh, Gloria's already there. Good. We're going to do a big surprise, KSC. Um, I want to read a scripture to you this morning before I sing. Uh, it's Matthew 16 and 28. And it's talking about the future for the church. And I love that song we just sang. Until then, two, both of those songs we did so far today are very old from my childhood, uh, Stepping in the Light and Until Then. And uh, Matthew 16, 28 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, There be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Amen? The Lord tarries, or if he comes soon, some of us may not taste death, but we may go by the way of rapture when Jesus Christ returns for his church. Amen? And there will be a new world order. It will be his kingdom established, and I'm grateful for that. Amen? Amen. The marketplace is empty. No more traffic in the street. Builders' tools are all silent. No more time to harvest wheat. Busy housewives cease their labor in the courtroom. No debate. Work on her.
God for his people. I was singing it, I'm sorry, I cry, and then my voice creaks. But listen, heaven's choir is going to assemble one day. And we're going to sing before the throne of God. We won't be in any hurry. We won't need to go home and do any chores. But we'll stand around the throne and stand worthy as the Lamb. Worthy as the Lamb. Amen. I'm looking forward to a day that the church will be assembled in his presence. Amen. You may be seated. The King is coming.